In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down why you haven't been able to lose weight and you feel stuck along your fitness journey and what you can do to get out of that rut that you're in and start losing weight as fast as possible. What you have to focus on is becoming the best you. With you not focusing on a vision, anything that is not in alignment with the best version of yourself, your 10.0 self, it's not going to work. And you lying to yourself and saying, oh, I can have that piece of cake. Oh, I can have that chocolate bar, whatever, whatever that is. Does that align with the best version of you? Is the 10.0 self the best possible version of you going out to clubs every weekend? Is it the person that is lying to themselves, lying to their people, lying that, oh, I feel great, even though inside, internally, you don't at all. So whenever there's a negative notification, when you're saying these things and you know deep down, that's really not it, and you know you gotta change, then you gotta focus on becoming the best you. You need to align yourself. You need to align yourself again into that 10.0 vision of yourself. I do this a lot with my clients. We re really break it down to make sure that they're on path to the vision that they set out for themselves. That's what a lot of this is, is having the vision and then every day you're working towards that vision, whatever stepping stones that you need to take, any actions, that you need to take the habits, the discipline, whatever it takes to get to the goals that you as an individual want and desire. It doesn't have to be what Nick wants, what Jeffrey down the road wants or whoever. It's what you deep inside want for yourself. So whatever that may be, you're going to have to commit, you're going to have to sacrifice, and you're going to have to be in full alignment, uh, as it says, a straight path to victory for it to work and to con continue to get the results and become your best, right? So cutting anything out that doesn't serve you to that higher stand standard. If that's not drinking, if that's not having fast food anymore, whatever that may be because it's hurting you in the long run, then you're gonna have to do it. Obviously there is moderation to a certain extent, but if you've been doing that and that do hasn't been working, then there has to be something that you gotta pep up in your system to say, hey, you know what? I gotta go harder. There's something that I need to do to actually get these, re these results. And then once I get the results, you don't want these things to have a negative uh, effect if you do start to do them. So think of it as actually you're going through a removal process to actually feel a lot better, right? If you cut out the drugs, if you cut out the alcohol, if you cut out the bad foods, because yeah, we feel good in that short pleasure seeking moment once we hit that you know, uh, fucking dopamine hit. But what if we removed all that and we just went inside ourselves and really did the internal work by focusing on ourselves, focusing on our diet, eating better foods, feeling better overall, you're going to start to say, hey, I actually prefer this compared to what I was doing, the drinking, the smoking, bad food, etc. So it does benefit for you, but you can't just judge and say, oh, I'm not going to do that. Like that's your mindset just lacking in itself. So you got to be dedicated and say, you know what? I'm going to try this, see what happens. And if I like it, I'm going to continue it. In reality, why you keep falling off is again, because you're lying to yourself and you feel like a fraud. You feel like a fake and anybody who feels like a fake and isn't honest with themselves completely, they won't be able to achieve the results that they desire. This actually happened with one of my clients recently, he came just super clean to me. Last week, he'd been on the program for a while, around like a couple of months, and he was like, Nick, I gotta come clean. He had to just say like, I need to take this more seriously. I need to really just listen to you of everything that you're doing and start to apply it even more and cut out anything that was holding me back because he was, he was lying all over the place. He was lying to himself, he was lying to me actually, and it didn't benefit him at all. And he kept falling off. He kept going for like two to three weeks. He would be on it. He would be doing the workouts, diet, everything perfect. And then he would fall off. So there was moments where he was getting the momentum, but then everything started to catch up and then he couldn't stay focused. And he started to lie and just go back to his old ways because that was comforting. That was what was so hard about it. And it got so hard to the point that, oh, I'm going to make this shit easy now for myself. That's the problem is that when you start to do that, you start to take the shortcuts, you start to make it a lot easier. It's actually going to hurt you more than benefit you, even though you may think in that moment 
that, hey, this is going to help me if I cut the corner or I don't do this. It's not going to work. Like you're going to fall off. You're there's always going to be shit that's happening in your life. And this is what was happening with him. And he was starting to take all these shortcuts and it just caught up to him. So that's probably what's happening to you is that you're constantly doing this over and over again. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to your people, your loved ones. Like you got to be able to take yourself seriously. How do you want to be portrayed to other people? Like your daughter, your son, like you lead from the front. So if you're not taking yourself seriously, they're not going to take you seriously. They're not going to listen to you, your wife, even anything of that sort. Just people in general, when you go out in public, like notice how you're being treated by other people at this very moment. Are people treating you with a lot of respect and uh, seriousness or not? So you not taking care of yourself. That's another big thing. And then you falling off. People are going to be like, oh, here we go. Up, oh, he's starting it again because you're telling everybody about it. Up. Oh, all right, two to three weeks. All right, we'll see We'll see uh, another 10, 20 pounds on you in the next couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's all about just being honest and honestly just doing it for yourself. Like, you, you don't got to tell everybody and you don't have to lie. Like, you don't have to lie and say, this is happening, um, but I don't... I don't know if I can do it, da, 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 or you just feel like fake in the process. Um, you're just lying and lying over and over again, but you're not getting anywhere. You're lying that you're doing it, but you're really not. That you're staying consistent, but you're actually sleeping in, or you're lying and you're not doing the meal plan, or you're not really eating the foods to a to a certain extent. You know, like it's full dedication. That's the only way to make this work. Just stop spinning your tires. When is it gonna like? finally click that you need to one change your attitude right so you have to go from a negative mindset to a positive mindset in order for this to work and yourself overall like what's your internal state like like are you happy as an individual probably not so in order to change that that's going to be getting in the gym getting your diet right and getting it from somebody that knows what they're doing so they can keep you on track so having a coach is really really important but you being stubborn and saying oh i can figure this all out myself i don't need this but has that been working like literally like it hasn't been working you keep falling off getting back on you keep trying and trying different uh little workout programs here and there like literally how is that going to work for yourself how is it going to be able to make you the best you possible like i don't understand i'd rather just get get everything from one person that has the results that I desire, get it, pay for it, and then apply it, and then boom, implement it over time, learn more from that individual, and continue to get better, stay with that individual, um, and really grow a relationship. That's all that I care about, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I do with my coaches. Like I pay them, boom, okay, here's this, boom, and then I just start applying. I need a little bit of the accountability to keep myself going, like I check in with them. That's another big thing too. Like if you have such a fat ego and you think that once you get a coach that you can just do whatever you want, that's not the, like you can't be doing that. Like you have to be on top of it. It's a full sacrifice, a full commitment, like straight up. That's how you're actually going to get the results and really benefit from the program overall. So saying like, oh, your finances are more important than your physique. How are you going to be able to live longer? How are you going to be able to see your kids for many years, see them grow up, go to college, get the job of their dreams that you put all that time into, and you're not even going to be able to see that. To experience life with your wife, go travel with your family, all these things, have friends, all your loved ones, your parents, everything. Like, how are you going to be able to do that if you're six feet under? Like, gee shit, because you're so worried about your finances, but your health is lacking. Like you're on that deathbed and it's calling you, but you're not picking up the phone. Like it's go time. Like there's literally nothing else that's stopping you. You need to take action now. There's nothing else that is going to like literally nothing else is going to be able to change your life. Besides this is working on yourself, your health overall, taking care of yourself. You come first at the end of the day and you not coming first and taking care of yourself first is just honestly so selfish and you're so ungrateful to the point that you don't even see what 
the best you across the board could actually do in this life. And it's straight selfish. Yeah, but like, oh, but, uh, well, I got to provide for my family. Dude, they don't even like respect you for anything that you're doing right now. So why don't you actually focus on yourself, get right in the gym, focus on your health, diet, all these things, and then they'll start to actually respect you. They'll actually appreciate everything because I bet they don't. They may say, but it's all lies. Once again, it's all lies because you're lying to yourself. So you're ready to book a call with me. Go in the description below of this video. Go to the pinned YouTube video on my channel. Watch it all in full. I break down the whole program of how it works and how I can help you achieve the best possible you, the 10.0 version of yourself in all aspects across the board. So you're not just leveling up your physique, but also your mindset, also your finances and just your consciousness and your whole life is just going to change from this whole experience that I'll show you how to do. So all you got to do is book a call in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.